Hey team, Chef Eric Gephardt here at Kamada Joe with my good friends at ATBBQ. Today I want to take a little pressure off yet again and show you my favorite pork tenderloin method. Let's get in the action. Beautiful pork tenderloin here. Let's just take a little time and trim it up, just some light trim work, especially that silver skin that's up at the top. Nothing to it. Nice and trimmed up. Let's go ahead and get our seasoning on. Today we're going to go for a two seasoning layering system starting with Cattleman's Steakhouse. Followed by a California tri-tip. Now let's let that sit for about five minutes or so and tack up. While we're waiting, let's go ahead and make a Dijon paint. We're gonna start with a little bit of garlic, going with some herbs and some gorgeous mustard. This is a very rustic paint that we're gonna put on the outside that's gonna give us some dynamic flavor profiles with the crust that it builds. The caramelization of that mustard is gonna lock in all these gorgeous herbs. I've really been enjoying this Kha'Zix mustard, so we'll get a little Kha'Zix Dijon. Bit of oil and then our herb garlic mixture. Like I said, it's rustic and just with a little fork, stir it up. Put a little honey in there if you wanted to. Um, kind of get it to a wet point to where it looks like a nice marinade. Now we're going to paint that on the outside of our pork tenderloin. Get in there with your hands sometimes. We've got our Kamada Joe Classic 3 stabilized at 500. Now the way we've got it set up, you could do this at 450 or you could do it at 700. Uh, I think 500 is right where I like to be. Let's jump in and take a look at the setup. Notice I've got the charcoal bank to one side and then a heat deflector on the other with the grill grate at the highest section. That's going to allow me to get my bark that I like and then to move it over to that semi-indirect uh, side to drive the temperature home. So let's get a little oil on the grill grates and I'm using some of those trim pieces in here that have some fat in there to really instill that pork flavor and then right on with our tenderloin. We're going to let that bark set and build up, give it a flip, kind of get the other edges and then again move it over to that indirect side. Let's close the dome so we can lock in that natural lump charcoal flavor. Now remember that's going to caramelize kind of quick so Nice bark there, the acid set up. We're gonna continue to roll this around until we like that bark and then we're gonna graduate it on over. So I just, I'm not quite happy with the lack of bark there. So I put a little bit more of that steakhouse right on top and we're gonna flip it and we're gonna give it another go. Remember, it's just cooking, right? So if you see something that's not 100%, fix it. A little more seasoning there. This is what I call the dry based, and we're just building more complex flavors. And just rolling around. Look at that beautiful fire down there. Uh, this is a great time to be an active participant with your grill. This is what I like. This is cooking, right? Interacting with the flame, looking at the bark, having fun with it. And we're almost there, but look at that one side. A little more, I want a little more flavor, a little more char there. So let's, let's mohawk it up. And generally, I love it. So let's go ahead and graduate it to the other side. Now we got options, okay? We can go ahead and paint this a little bit more and start to build another layer of bark. And again, each layer here is just building complexity. All right, let's go ahead and close that dome and get some of that 360 Camacho Radiant Heat. Look at that beautiful mustardy crust. We're just gonna continue to flip it for even cooking and even bark building. And let me tell you this, if you don't like mustard, this is more about technique than anything going on right now. So if you don't like mustard, 
don't use mustard, right? Use a barbecue sauce, use whatever you like. Uh, for pork tenderloin, we're gunning for an internal temperature of like 145 to carry over to 150. Let's go ahead and see where we are right now. Looks like we're sitting at about 127, 130, so I bet we've got another four or five minutes to go. We've driven to that internal temperature. That's the beauty of the divide and conquer system, being able to create two different heat signatures on the same grill surface. Let's go ahead and take it, let it rest, and then slice into it. We've allowed the pork tenderloin to rest, and those juices have redistributed. I really want to pay attention to the grain. Can you see how it just kind of swirls? It's straight line, straight lines here, and then it kind of swoops this way. And that's a roadmap to how we're gonna slice this pork tenderloin across the grain. Just another way to mechanically tenderize this. So a little positive pressure and a little slice. And that is exactly where we wanted this pork tenderloin. Let's go ahead and slice it down the line. Yeah, the aromas this thing is throwing off right now are just tremendous. And we put so much mustard on there and everything, I'm thinking we can do a little honey dipping sauce. But don't worry, this isn't even a recipe. This is just, just, just watch this for a second, watch this. So we got this gorgeous, splay that out a little bit. And then right in front here, we're gonna go on with some of my favorite raw Kansas wildflower honey, just a line of it. And I love to eat like this right off the board and then take some of that seasoning that we use to season the pork. We'll use that Cattleman's Steakhouse. No, let's do the bigger tri-tip, the California tri-tip, and then just put it right on top of that honey. Look how that sits right on top of there. It's almost like a barbecue seasoning stained glass going on. This one's got my name on it. Look at that contrast between super tender and lush with that crunch of the bark that we built so carefully together. Let's get a little dip. There it is. And take a bite. Stunning. With quality ingredients and simple techniques, delicious doesn't have to be difficult. Cheers, team.